testing one for you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, my name is uh, Tio Shin Jin. I'm from Singapore Polytechnic. All right, uh, I go by the name Shin. I'm a lecturer, by the way, if you want that. Okay, so this is me. Uh, I represent part of this place called Fab Lab and SP. Fab stands for fabrication. So if you're interested, you can follow us. I'm oh, sorry, if you want more information to follow up, you can email me. You can check out my blog. Okay, you can uh, call me. And you can go to my Facebook and take a look. Okay, basically what we call champion maker culture in Singapore Polytechnic is our students and our staff, they make things and they document things on the internet. So basically everybody just share some information. Oops. It's Japanese, I don't understand. Give me a second. Yep. Alright. So uh, in Fab Lab, we actually make thing, making ideas. So we do make things, but we make ideas, make it happen. All right. So next, uh, this is me. Uh, I make stuff. I'm also one of the many SP makers. Okay, my personal favorite is DIY Studi. Uh, basically, when it's in UK, I cannot afford beef. Beef is very expensive, so I buy the cheapest part. Use technology, which is my Arduino based Studi, to cook beef at a low temperature for very long hours. All right, if you're interested, there's a full spec, uh, full description, everything at my blog. So there are many and many iterations. So I have done uh, too many SUV, DIY SUV. So uh, I somehow concluded a uh, discussion on my blog. All right. So I also did participate in a engineering cooking in uh, USCR engineering. So I'm explaining my SUV setup when I was a university student there. All right. So this is uh, UCL in a institute of making. So in UK they have a institute dedicated just to make stuff. Alright, somewhat synonymous with Singapore Polytechnic, we have Fab Lab at SP, we have Makerspace at SP to do things to make stuff. Okay, apart from all the fun stuff, uh, we are in Singapore, so we have to be kind of boring. I need to flash my credentials. Alright, I graduated from these universities, I was ex SP students, and I hold a list of paper, okay, which I don't want to further elaborate. You can feel free to look up on the four character acronyms. Alright, so and now my hobby besides making is actually collecting papers. Alright, so what's the question? Why why we want to make things? It's actually boils down to intrinsic motivation. We want people, we want our students to have the know-how, the building blocks, where to get information, where to get access to experts and where they can go to make things. Okay? So the other thing we want to raise is actually the culture of making things. Nowadays everything is bought. Your iPhone is bought, your computer is bought. During my days, we have to assemble our own computer. Otherwise, uh, there's no, uh, my time, there's no iPad yet. Alright? So, share discoveries, most importantly is, we want people to share. SIC, sharing is caring. Why the maker culture works is because people like me eat tofu, do something, and after office hours, then we post on the internet to share. Source code, schematics, description and even the science and engineering principles behind it. Alright, lastly, motivation for my students. Some of our guys, they are aspired to, to apply to MIT. So in MIT, uh, quite recent, a few years ago, they have this thing called the maker profile. So basically, if you have made something, you solve an engineering problem or science problem, you can upload on the internet, you have a full description, so you can use it to put as a MIT admission criteria. So for those guys who are planning for university education in MIT, uh, you should check out this particular link, which is by mixin.com, where the direct, deputy director of the uh, admission office from MIT gave a speech. All right. So in SP, we have a, a very vibrant maker culture. All right. We started off with an electronics club back in 1990s. Then we have a makers club. We introduced Arduino in 2009. All right. We have something called 20% time with our students. Basically, students, they dedicate 100% time to their final year project. So of this 100%, they can use 20% to discover things they want to do on their own. All right. So in 2012, our 20% time project was in Maker Faire. So that's the first time the Singapore Polytechnic as a whole, we join uh, Maker Faire and we distribute and showcase our students' project. If you're interested, because uh, now it's 2015, you're interested to know what's happening in 2012. Feel free to go to instructables.com and look out for the students' project because we actually make, write, and share. It's very important. Maker culture, we must document down everything we have done. 
Adam Savage has a very popular quote about it. Um, you should read it on the internet. Okay, next thing is information curator. So we want people to curate what they have done, document, and it's actually a good habit. Incidentally, my English language skill uh, become better because I can write English now, every day, right? Okay? So this is uh, Singapore Polytechnic. We have SP makers, we are the human, we are the community. We have the place, the facility where we call it the Fat Lab at SP. So in Fat Lab SP, we are 300 meters square. There are a lot of equipment in there. We have three laser cutters, a lot of 3D printers, CNC milling, uh, three axis CNC milling, CNC routers, A0 plotters, so and so forth. So I do not want to take up my three minutes by filling up with all this uh, equipment list. So basically, just now my friend Luther, the guy from the Hackerspace mentioned that a membership, a country club membership. So in SP, if you are our student, you have membership to all this, and if you are an SP student. So we have one more, which is the maker space at SP. So we have this place, we have maker coaches. Basically, they are staff, SP staff, but their role is dedicated to making. So they are now at A101 downstairs next to the garden. We have booth there. Their names are, oops, Mark, Andy, and Louis. So feel free to go and check with them, ask them what is a maker coach is all about. If you want to apply to us as a maker coach, uh, you can check with them also. So Makerspace at SP is located in the library, in SP library, the main library. It's a central location where all the students come and meet and they shall have some discussion. So once they have some ideation, they want to make something, they want to have access facility, they will go to Fat Lab at SP. So eventually when they have made everything, they want to ask somebody some question, they will go to the human part, the community part. So this is what SP Maker Culture is all about. Human, machine, and man hours. Alright, I shall not bore you with my remaining what, by three minutes. If you're interested, uh, feel free to check out instructables.com. Just look out for Singapore Polytechnic in the search bar. Then you see all our students' projects that are documented on Instructables. Okay? You can visit our Makerspace website, makerspace.sp.edu.sg. Alright? We have individual blog and wiki of our student and staff makers. Uh, this list is not exhaustive. We have many, many more. Just that I do not want to bore you with too many URLs. So feel free to take a picture of this and uh, you can look it up more information on the internet. Alright, if you want to talk to me personally, uh, feel free to visit our Singapore Polytechnic Makers booth at A101. I hope I do not exceed my 30 seconds, no, 3 minutes. Alright, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.